Hello, hello. As you can see, I am in the bike maintenance mode and today we are preparing Super 6 to go outdoors. So far, I've been only training on, on it uh, on the turbo trainer. So today we're gonna route the hydraulic brakes uh, housing through the frame. Then we're gonna cut it, install it and bleed it. But first thing we need to do is to route it through the frame and uh, all the hacks, tricks I'm gonna show you apply both to the hydraulic bra brakes, to the uh, shifting cables, everything you need to know about it, you will know from this video. And please let me know, I need your feedback in the comment section whether I'm trying, whether I'm improving my talking skills, talking just uh, simple and short, all right? So, let's start. Uh, I'm improving. Step number one, prepare your housing and that's important thing. Uh, it is different thing when you replace the housing because then you can already uh, do some trick when I'm gonna, which I'm gonna show you at the end. But if we're gonna do what I'm doing, which is um, routing a new housing through a new frame, you need some kind of an ending on your housing that, uh, that you will be able to uh, assemble to the string we're gonna use. We're gonna use this little string. This housing came already with a special, specially designed cap and it will be no-brainer for me to, uh, to um, put the, the string through. But don't worry, if you don't have this one, uh, you can just use a regular housing um, end cap. Just make sure you have the right one for the brakes or for the, for the um, uh, shifting cables and make a hole in it and when you make a hole then you put it on the housing not uh, not too far so that you can still have your uh, your hole free for the string all right so this was step number one uh, some of you would need to make i don't need to make it it's already done okay step number two we are starting to uh, to guide our uh, our housing. I'm gonna show you all the holes. The first hole is just right here, just in the front of the caliper brake. Uh, uh, the housing will go through the bottom bracket and go out here in the head tube area. Okay, so what I already did, the caliper is already on the frame, but as, as you can see, I just mounted it uh, so that it won't just hang uh, and I will not break the housing. And now what I'm starting to do is to guide my, uh, my cable through that first hole to the bottom bracket area. And this step is really simple. I am just pushing it through my frame and I will either see it or, or, feel, or feel it coming out here. Okay, it's already there. Let's use some additional lighting. I hope you can see that my housing is, is there moving. All right, so it's done. Now, I want to go with the housing through the main tube and that's why I'm using the string, okay? So, if you are just removing or replacing your housing, you would already assemble the string to the housing so that when you remove the housing from the frame, you will have the whole string guided through the frame and that would be uh, really perfect for you. I don't have it because uh, I'm, new, I'm doing it for the new frame, but that's not a problem. I'm not able to guide just the string through the top tube, uh, the main tube, but I can use an old shifting cable, okay? You may need to have different curves at the end, but for my, for my only uh, main tube, uh, guiding, I'm going to actually cut it and have completely straight one. What I'm using, what kind of string I'm using, I also have, I always have in my in my studio uh, this string and this is certainly too thick so I only took a portion of it and I have this little string. Now I need to assemble this one to my to my cable. And here's the tape I'm going to use for this. I'm gonna just take a portion of it 
and put those two together. So the cable and my string are now assembled together. All right. Now I'm going to cut my tape so that it won't stuck somewhere in the middle of my frame. Okay. And now we proceed to the step number three, which is guiding my cable through the top tube. I'm just sliding it through. If I feel any, any type of uh, friction there, just go back a little bit and then to get, and then, and then back to the down there. Okay. We are done because I can see my cable is already there. Okay, now I'm using my calipers in order to get this one out of my bottom bracket and also get my braking housing out of the bottom bracket shell. If something isn't going as smooth as you'd love to, just be patient. You don't wanna, you don't wanna break anything. All right, this is how it looks like. So it will be really easy for me now to guide it. This is my braking housing. This is my cable. All right, step number four. I am removing the tape, making sure all the time that I'm not pulling this one into the frame. The string has to be outside. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the string here and remove the shifting cable I used for guiding it through the frame. All right, so I have two endings from those two holes hanging, hanging out, one and two. Now I'm going to tight my string around the cap I have on my on my cable. It's really tight and secure so I won't lose it. And now the cable, the housing goes back to the bottom bracket area, making sure it won't pull my string inside. It's great. All right, and now one important thing. If you have multiple uh, cables inside the frame, there is a risk that while you've been um, uh, guiding your string through the top tube, it would somehow go around your shifting cables or at least one of them. So uh, we just have to do it. We are uh, now guiding it through the, through the tube uh, back and then make sure that nothing changed in terms of your shifting performance. Everything goes smooth. You don't hear any rubbing there inside uh, and the, sh the shifting is as smooth as it, sh as it should be. So I would start with the shifting cables, all right? But since I have my shifting cables outside, there is no problem for me. Okay, step number five. I am now guiding my cable through the bottom bracket. Uh, one important thing here is not to pull with the, with the power on my string, but only to guide it through and I'm rather pushing my housing. As you can see, the string goes out of my, uh, of my um, frame, all right. And now one important thing here is that there is some special like a sponge around my, uh, my housing. Uh, it will lessen at least the rattling uh, in the frame. So I have to carefully push it through. I'm doing it really carefully and I wanna, I don't wanna remove it from, from my housing, but it goes really nicely. Don't, don't forget to pull also there on the housing. Yippee! My housing is already out. As you can see, I can move it around. Uh, as I told you, we need some, some not only experience, but we need to be patient here because uh, the first time I actually snapped my uh, string, so I had to do it twice, but it came now 
out very, very nicely. So I am happy with that. The last step, uh, the sixth, sixth one, is uh, pushing my cable all the way through. As you can see, I'm still pushing uh, the part with the special spongy thing uh, on it, like a spongy tape or so. It's, it's not a tape, but it's, uh, it's definitely, de definitely making, um, making the, bark si the bike silent on some rough roads. All right. Now the last part is to disassemble the caliper because I don't want to break the housing and then I will just rotate the housing in the way it should be. It's going to be nothing should be like twisted here inside and I'll be ready to go. Great, my caliper is more or less assembled and now I'm just pushing this little rubber guide. I need two hands for that. It goes right to the to the frame and stops there very very tightly it is done my my housing is done uh, now I know that the housing went through the uh, bottom bracket shell in the correct way so it won't be like um, on the bottom of my spindle but um, on the top of the spindle so that's really cool uh, and it's up there I'm gonna put one uh, rubber um, guide here as well and then we're gonna cut those housing and bleed those in the next part thanks for watching I hope it was easy and simple let me know in the comment section how I'm doing and see you soon bye bye and and I messed it up